Thank you for joining us on Vacation Station TV. And we're doing it again. Yes, we're at the 2020 Fall Rod Run in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And today we're going to show you some of the cars that are just starting to come in to the Pigeon Forge area. So stick around, we'll be right back. And we're back at the 2020 Fall Rod Run in Pigeon Forge. This place is going to be absolutely crazy this weekend. And the reason is probably the weather. It's supposed to be football weather, which means bring along a jacket, bring along a sweater, and get ready for a whole lot of fun. Because the temperatures are going to be a lot lower than they've been in the last few weeks, which means it's going to be very comfortable, more cars are going to show up, and people from all over the country will be here today in Pigeon Forge. Now, you're here with me today. And what do you think so far? Now, it is only Tuesday, and we just saw a lot of cars, didn't we? People are coming in. Um, different cars are coming in from different states. It's going to be fun. Definitely. And I've noticed there's a lot of new cars. Uh, a lot of you that come here and frequent these shows, you get to, you get to know the cars after a while. Uh, a lot of new cars, so make sure you make your plans. Another suggestion, if you haven't left wherever it is you are, I highly suggest you make reservations at the hotels, motels, or wherever it is you're staying, because they will book up fast here, and you will not be able to find a place if you don't get something in advance. So make the phone call, book your room, and get ready to have a whole lot of fun. Now, let's go take a look at some of the cars, like happens to be this one right behind me. Now take a look at this, and particularly, and I hope the camera picks this up, but notice the paint job. If you can see that, notice how well that has been done. Can you see that? I'll drag it across so you can see a little bit of everything. Now here's the interior. Nice job indeed. I'm not sure what color you would call this. It's can can we open it? And the, do touch not it? touch the cars. Do not. I don't want to. Well, look. If you get sold to the Arabs, I'll send you a card once in a while and a little care package of probably. I think the other side is open. Yeah, the other side is open. It's a '53 Nash, twenty-seven thousand five hundred dollars. And whoever did this did a really fine, fine job indeed. You can check out the. Attic. I will do that. You look good in that car. Is well, that yours? Get the title. Uh, all I need is, no, you need money. <laughs> then I get that title, right? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Richard. <laughs> Richard, is that your beast? Yeah, it's 53 what a Nash. Fine job you did Thanks. on that. Tell me I a didn't bit do about it actually. I bought it and took it in on trade, okay. sold it once. And then I had some more stuff the guy wanted, so we did some more trading. That's what it's about, yep. isn't it? <laughs> and that's what's cool about the yeah. rod runs. You can sell and trade all day long. You yep. could probably trade two or three cars in a weekend here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people. Tell me about that car. It's a 53 Nash. It's got tons of body work, you know, the modifications done. It's air ride suspension. And the biggest, the coolest thing is you can drive all day because it's got a four-cylinder Chevrolet OMC drive motor. No kidding. Yeah, the motor's a you know OMC uh, four-cylinder motor. Right. So I would think that it runs just from cool looking and, at it, and you know it runs exactly. cool in traffic, has tons of power. Believe it or not. Well, uh, most people, most of these cars have these gigantic. You know, they're big, 300, mm -hmm. 400, 600 horsepower, yeah. and they overheat in the, yeah. in the traffic. Oh yeah. Well, this don't. <laughs> no, I can, it just purrs like a kitten. <laughs> very nice. What else have you done, or has it been done? To I haven't it? done much to it myself. You know, mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I took it in a trade, so you know. That's it is what it is. What amenities are inside that? Uh, Let's take a look. Basically, the bucket seats. You see what it is, you know. So. Autom is that automatic or standard? It looks like standard. Uh, 
the transmission. Uh, it, that's an automatic. It is an automatic. Yeah, automatic, yep. Very nice. It, they're yep. very plain cars. <laughs> the Nash was, was actually very yeah, plain. Yeah, 53 Nash. 53 yep. Nash. They didn't have a lot of amenities in those <laughs> days. Very nice, and the seats are all well tufted and yeah. very well done. And and are you willing to trade? There's, I'm sure, uh, our I'm viewers. I'm, I'm wanting money. I'm looking at another car. What are you looking at? Uh, what? My old 50, 56 Chevy back. You take it I'm back? Get, then we'll get another, my 56 back. And then it's what? got a big blower motor like my buddy's here. Right. Then you can trade it out again or sell it. Again. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Isn't it a great life? Isn't it a great life? What we got? Yep. <laughs> Thank you for talking with me. All right, my I friend. I appreciate okay. that. That is yours, still? That's my friend's, yeah. What do you know? Is he still here? He's, he'll be back. Right. Tell me yeah. about this. Uh, I don't know much about it. I mean, I know it's all brand new, but. What year vet is this? 64. 64. Yeah. Yeah, it's got everything you can imagine. It's, oh, I it's probably the loudest car here. I can probably guarantee you that. It's already loud and it's not even yeah. on. <laughs> it's got the uh, It's cage. louder than, I mean, most cars. Really? Yeah, I don't know. You know, it's running through the pipes too, but it's it's super, super loud. <laughs> My, couldn't look at the tires on that. Thing. Yeah. Does, and he's from Florida, yep. a dealer. Did he drive it up or trail no, it up? No, it. you trail. You yeah. wouldn't want to drive this. The, yeah. You'd wake up every state you went through. <laughs> no, you'd, the cops would be doing? all over you. I'm going to get some pictures of this. Yeah, Look at right. this. 64 Chevrolet. Wow. Look at this. That's mostly original interior, by the way. It's at the four speed. The original leather interior. No, really nice car. He probably took this in. You know, being a car dealer, you get these things. Look at this blower. Look at this engine. Look at that. Absolutely. <laughs> Look at that. Very manly. It actually is intimidating me. <laughs> I'm being intimidated by a car. Let's see. It says right here what what it is. This you share. I'm sharing it with you at the time I'm seeing it. 64 Chevrolet uh, Corvette convertible, uh, 468. Oh my God! All new motor, rear training, new clutch. Wow. If you happen to have $144,000, you can own this car. Now, is it all right if I take the credit card out and I buy this? <laughs> and I'm getting divorced. I'm sure right after that I'll be divorced. Wow. I'm sure I would be divorced. Absolutely beautiful car. That's probably the most expensive car I've seen here at the show so far. $144,000. Next to it is a 1931 Model A, all steel, 302, air conditioning, and of course, it's for sale or trade. Very nicely done. It's uh, it's mint. You can tell this thing doesn't drive on the road. I, I would be so scared to drive this thing on the road. I, I would be frightened. You pull into Walmart, it's all over but the crying. Look at the 31 Model A. Now, for those of you old geezers like me out there, we remember Model A is a Model A. This is not your grandmother's Model A. <laughs> this is for sure. Look at those wheels. Sailor trade. Three probably the nicest cars I have seen at the show so far. Now, I'm not saying this is the end to end all. This is only Tuesday. And... I'm showing you some fine specimens of vehicles that will be on display or for sale or for trade at the 2020 Fall Rod Run in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Here we are today at the 2020 Fall Rod Run in Pigeon Forge, but more importantly, it's time now for Super, Super Shoutouts. Shout
now, as you saw those names on your screen, uh, I highly suggest and we ask you that you go to every one of their channels, take a look at their videos, and give them a thumbs up, and give them a, uh, a compliment on the comments, and also subscribe. So much more important that you subscribe. Two more fine examples of the vehicles that you will be able to see here at the 2020 Fall Rod Run in Pigeon Forge. Both these cars are from Virginia, both fine examples of custom cars. Absolutely at their best. This is a 1940, it's a Ford Standard Coupe, all steel, all Ford and only for about 37,500 dollars. As you can see, owning a hot rod or restoring a hot rod is not a cheap hobby that one would want to get into. And you wouldn't want to do um, a, a half effort, you know, at these cars. You want to make sure that you do the job right so you can command that kind of money when you're ready to put them up for sale. Nice pickup truck, beautiful. Love the copper color with the black, the contrast. It's got a V8, both of these have the V8s. The flathead V8s, now I don't know if they've been modified, but that's how they came uh, from the factory, which were very fast cars in their day, the flathead V8s. That was the choice of the gangsters, was the flathead V8.
wasn't that fun? Yes. Did you? Did we see some cars we had never seen before? I did. Yeah, me too. Me too. There's some really fantastic cars, trucks, everything from the uh, traditional rod to the rat rods and everything in between at the 2020 Fall Rod Festival in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And if you look just a little over my shoulder here, you're going to see, I believe it's a 1938 like a tow truck with a rod on the back of it. You can see that and so much more at the 2020 Fall Rod Run Show in Pigeon Forge. And, uh-oh, what time is it? It's time for Super Shout Out. Remember, when you see the names of the people on your screen, please visit their site, go to their channel, let them know you came to the channel, let them know that you were at our channel, and subscribe and like and comment about their videos. This is a great way for us to network and make everybody successful in the world of YouTube. -ia. And also, check out our earlier videos on the Rod Run that was last week, the Shades of the Past slash Rod Run. A lot of good videos there, a lot of great comments, a lot of excellent interviews, and we'll be doing this again all week long. This is only Tuesday. I will be coming out every single day, Marie and I, because she's with me all this week, whether she likes it or not, and we will be doing the Rod Run in Pigeon Forge, and we suggest you come out here too, get out here early, make reservations at a hotel. I'm telling you, the traffic is already here. Um, I don't know if I can get, I can't get any traffic in this shot, but there is lots of traffic coming in and already it's, the parking lots are almost full and it is only Tuesday. Yeah, and they can check out, you know, our video of uh, shortcuts to Pigeon Forge. Good idea. The people from out of state, out of Tennessee, when they come in here, Yes, good idea. If you're you're coming up, listen to me, listen to us good. If you're coming off of 40 and you're you're gonna head south on 66, do take our shortcuts. The the video is right there. It is linked to all of the rod run videos. If you don't, you're gonna probably still be outside of Sevierville, Sevierville by next Friday. Location <laughs> Station TV on YouTube. Yes, you have to go to, well, if they're watching this, they already know it's Vacation Station TV. <laughs> Just go to the, you'll see the picture of the traffic. When you see the picture of the traffic, that's the video you want to watch. We give you very clear instructions on how to get into Pigeon Forge without dealing with the traffic, which is going to be unbelievable. And don't forget to... Um, to thank, thank you for all the viewers and all the subscribers. And keep on watching. And like and subscribe and comment. comment and comment thanks for joining us check us out tomorrow we'll be doing this wednesday in pigeon forge at the 2020 fall rod run and we're waiting to see you soon <laughs>